Hi, this is Thomas Farley of southwestrockhounding.com, southwestrockhounding.com. And I'm going to be pointing out some things on setting up your Gmail. I'm going to assume that you already have the SatFi app on your phone. You've established a Wi-Fi connection, the SatFi Wi-Fi network on your phone. You've gone through the app and have been unable to create, been able, unable to access your Gmail. It keeps saying it won't authenticate. It won't verify. So let's just go from there. Let's just say you failed. So let's start the whole process over again. And this time we're not in the app we're going to be at Gmail first, at your account, on your desktop, on your laptop, whatever. Uh, get into your account. And you're not going to be using the SatFi app right now. I just want to be clear. Because this here says the SatFi 2 app will request to an... It does not request anything. There's no pop-up menus. Start off in the Gmail environment, on your desktop, on your laptop, with your regular wireless network. Okay. Log into your Gmail account. All of this is takes a little bit of patience because of the steps, but it's normal stuff in, in email. Select from security. These are all current, and I'm working in a Mac here. Um, if you don't have two-step verification already, it's going to ask you to enable it. It's that sort of annoying service where you have to get a code periodically by, mess by text or by email to verify your account. Okay, protect your account with two-step verification. Um, get started. And we'll enter your password. You're going to be entering your password several times and your username, so have those on hand. Um, to continue, first verify it's you. And again, this is a PDF that Global Star has on just, just on setting up Gmail. So again, all of this is fairly straightforward. You will be asked to set up your phone uh, I'm not sure that's correct wording. We're setting up the account, the email account. Follow the prompts regarding the verification code. Okay, you're going to get the verification code possibly over your phone. Um, and then you will have asked to turn on the two-step verification. So you can go over this, and this is fairly straightforward. Um, once it's turned on, it's just tedious. Uh, this will bring you back to the security member. This is interesting here. You will see a backward arrow, but when you do it, you will not lose all your information like what frequently happens with uh, when you go backwards. Um, on the signing into the Google section, click on the app passwords. This is again straightforward. Google will ask you to enter your password. Again, your regular password and again you receive a six digit verification code and again we're on your regular Wi-Fi network uh, not the SatFi network. Next you will be prompted to select the app and device you want to generate the app password or um, you're not going to be able to select the app because it's not listed. From the Select App drop-down menu, select Other, type in SatFi2, and click on Generate. I'm not sure if this has to be absolutely correct, but I made sure it was. Okay, click on Generate. And here, you will get the 16 digits with spaces, but I think you're able to cut and paste this. I, I, I cut and paste this to Notepad, uh, although you can write it down. 
If you cut it into notepad, it'll be very, very tiny. It's actually best to write it out on a piece of paper in large type because these are 16 digits. They're all lowercase in my case. And if you have them on a piece of paper in very large type, you're going to need it because you may have to re-enter this a couple of times until it works. Okay, follow the instructions to enter the app password on your mobile device. Well, um, yeah, select done. Um, that's fine, but on your mobile device, what they're talking about is getting back into the SatFi app. And remember the Gmail settings that you tried to set up? Set up Gmail in the app once again. And the key is your username will remain the same, but you must use this 16 digit number at this point. When you Instead of your regular password, you now have this specific advice. So on this creation of your Gmail account, in the app, in the SatFi app, enter your 16 digits, and it should go through. What's interesting, it will probably work too if you have another device like a tablet or even a laptop. You can try that out. but it seems to work so again now I'm a little forgetful on whether or not you have to be hooked up to the wireless SatFi network to enter this ideally you would be there's a desktop app for the Mac that you could have on your laptop and enter it in this way but this will go through again Note the 16 digits on a large piece of paper. These steps are a little tedious, but you can get through them. It's going to take at least an hour, an hour and a half. To be clear, that 16 digit group needs to be only entered once, ideally on your phone, in the app. And then from then on, you don't have to do it. it Gmail will recognize your conventional password from that point on. You should keep that group, that 16-digit group, available, but it's a one-time password, so good luck.